Hello. How are you doing? A big, 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 big congrats on Woman of the Hour. It's harrowing, affecting, smart, and totally, totally entertaining. A true crime spectacle. I enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Oh, you're so welcome. What I love best about the film is its focus not on the serial killer, but on the victims. So let's begin with you, Miss Autumn. Describe your character of Amy, the lovable runaway who's very, very smart as well. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like you did a good job of explaining it yourself. Um, I think that she's just she's just a girl who is in a vulnerable situation and she's very young and she's on the run. And I think, um, yeah, she just has a lot of heart and a lot of intelligence. Oh, and you, Miss Catherine, Charlie, the moving victim. Talk to us about <laughs> your character. Describe her to us. Charlie, she's a flight attendant. She's at the beginning of her life. She's got plans. She's got dreams. And um she needs help moving and she meets Rodney and and you'll have to see the movie. Those yes. to see how that ends. <laughs> By the way, I love the way Anna Kendrick shot, you know, some of the, the some of the violent scenes because they're not violent porn. You know what I mean? They're actually they play with your mind. So I'm more like this all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was really important to her to make sure nothing was glorified. And nothing, you know, we get so numb to so much violence now and um, these stories about serial killers. So to really make sure that the violence wasn't glorified and the story focused on the young women whose lives were forever changed and robbed, um, I think it really, it makes an impact. Yeah, I totally agree. And then Miss Nicolette, the suspecting Laura. Yes. Roberto, who is she? <laughs> Laura is in the audience of the dating game and she recognizes Rodney when he's up on the stage and remembers him as the person who she thought murdered her best friend. And so um, she's incredibly uh, brave, I think, going through a lot of grief. And she represents so many of the people who in real life did try to raise the alarm about this man and law enforcement really failed them. You know, the magic of the film to me is that, I mean, you guys, you guys are not there all the time, but I remember each and every one of you long after the film is done. And Thank I think that's, that's a good service to the victims of, of uh, the real life serial killer. Don't you agree with me on that? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel I felt a lot of responsibility towards Amy and and the girl that her story is based off of because she was so young and because she's been so clear about wanting to be out of the public eye and and being very private. So I definitely tried to respect that in my research and respect that in the way that I portrayed her, just kind of create a character that is serving her story and, and telling her story in a, a way that people need to hear, but also is separate from her and has has a little bit of separation from like the actual real life young girl that went through that experience. Real quick, Catherine, why do you think we love true crime? I love true crime. Dateline, 48 hours, 2020 are like my lullabies in the evening. My <laughs> husband's like, what the, why are you watching that? <laughs> why is that? Why are we so attracted to them? You know, I think that any attempt to understand why these criminals yeah. These violent, violent people do what they do gives us a sense of, of a, maybe a false sense of control. Like, yeah. well, if I was in that situation, this is what I would do and this is how I would get out of it. And I, I think that it it's sort of like the more you understand something, the less you fear it, I, I think is the logic behind that. Um, and I also think we're living in a, a world right now that is so, feels so, so, so hard to um it feels so hard to grapple with the amount of uh horrors that we're faced with every day so when we hear about these crimes that are solved or in the past it feels like we have a sense of agency over it yeah. um and so that's that's my best guess and i just really think that especially in this one being a part of a story where the women these survivors their loved ones work so hard to get justice work so hard to be heard it yeah. really showcases to me that i think when we talk about true crime the more we can put the emphasis em emphasis on the victims and their loved ones and justice for them the more of a service we're doing for you know our future as a society 
Oh, I totally, totally agree. I'm sorry, guys. I'm running out of time, but a big congrats on the woman of the hour again. I was like this all the time and then like this at the end because it's also a smart social critique. So good luck on everything, you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.